five o'clock in the morning. We're at the lake. I'm gonna do some metal detecting around here and see what I can find. All right, catch you on the first one. Sunrise in Wyoming at the lake. Woohoo! Look around. Give you a 360. And in the distance, you can see the other mountain ranges. Still see snow on some of them. Alright. All right, I'm gonna give you a semi-live dig. Whatever it is is in the plug. Oh man, yeah. Ooh, that's one of the good ones, look at that. Oh man, bottle top. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Out here in the middle of this forest. And to all my friends in the UK, these look familiar. Yep, British 303s out here in the middle of this forest. That's interesting. Yeah, three of them so far. Okay, on to the next. Yeah, I guess it's a good thing they didn't do my knee surgery. I'd have never found what I did the last two days. So we're up here at the lake, just enjoying the scenery. All right. Now there, four inches down, this piece. It's a weird looking piece. Huh. Well, on to the next. See the loon down there? It's right in the middle of the picture, right out in the grass. Yep, that's a loon. Time to have a seat on this old stump and rest these old weary bones. Oh yeah, that feels so good. I'll give you a look around to where I'm at. Yeah, I'd say it's isolated. But, I found 15 cents so far, and uh, 22 bullets, 20 complete 22 bullets, uh, 300 wind mag, and three, three, 303 British shells. Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm finding what you guys are finding. All right, catch you at next find. Okay, from there, pull this. Somebody can tell me what kind of bullet that is. That's an interesting one. I've never seen one like that. Somebody can let me know what it is. Please leave a comment. Thank you. That's the hill where the sunrise came up over. That's called Fossil Hill. And I'll give you one guess what you find on that thing all over it. If you get it right, Woohoo! You get the whoopee. All right, thanks. You know, sometimes it pays to walk around and just take a look, see what you can find. Look at that pole holder. Woohoo! I got me a pole holder. Next time I go fishing, not dirt fishing, I'll take this. All right, have a good one. Okay, trying out a new memory card to see if this fixes my problem of losing videos. Okay. Coins that I found last Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, we'll start with the uh, newest ones. Okay, 1904 O. Morgan. Okay, the second one, a 1904 Morgan, two of them. A 1901. Morgan, I 
hope you can see that. And the oldest one is an 1883S. Yeah, I cleaned it up a little bit. I know a lot of people are going to yell at me for cleaning my coins, but they, I don't sell my coins. I keep them. And this is an 1883S. I don't know if you can see the S down there or not. I mean, it's pretty small, but it's there. Yeah, that's a good coin. Okay. And the next one is an 1877 Seated Liberty Quarter. It's pretty worn. You can see by her, she's pretty worn. But the date is still clear. Them five were found on Wednesday. Uh, about an hour hunt. I was digging up, like I say in the thing, I was digging up a lot of uh, old iron or steel cans that uh, had lead seals on them when I started digging these out. Okay, the next day, I went back to the same area and I found this. Now I know you're not supposed to clean your coins, but I clean my coins as they stay in my collection. This is a 1867 shield nickel. And it doesn't have the rays, but I think it made me happy when I found that. I mean, it's in good shape too. And then the piece of resistance, 1852 Trime. These were all found in a 15 foot by 15 foot area down by a, a river. And you can see the trime. Yeah, these kind of made my whole week last week, but as, as I say, the, my memory card, we're trying a new memory card, and we're going to see if this video turns out. All right, on to the next hole. <laughs> 